whether it's on a high banked oval or a twisting road course, auto racing involves split second decision making based upon mathematical principles. Variables like speed, weather condition, and track condition all contribute to the problem solving needed to win a race. For driver and crew chief to achieve success, the algebra has to be accurate. The main variable in auto racing is speed, how fast race car drivers need to drive to win a race. Speed is the rate the car travels. And speed is expressed as the equation speed equals distance divided by time. In auto racing, that equation is only a starting point. For example, if our driver is on a course that is 50 miles long and completes it in half an hour, he's traveling at 100 miles per hour. Speed in auto racing is affected by everything from the driver's foot on the accelerator, the tire pressure and temperature, and horsepower. Race car drivers like to win. For them, second place is just being the first loser. So let's take the track fact and expand it into something that we can graph. For instance, what are all the possible speeds for the losers? If the winning car had an average speed of 105 miles per hour, how many feet per second did it travel? Well, this is how you solve that. Feet per second equals 105 times 5,280 divided by 60 times 60 equals 154 feet. The equation to find the distance traveled in any number of seconds is feet per second equals 105 times 5,280 divided by 60 times 60 times time in seconds. This is the graph to show all the possible speeds for the losers and your finished coordinate grid graph should look like this. It takes speed and skill to make it into victory lane, so let's take a closer look at our race winner and do one more speed-related problem. In this case, how fast do you need to go to tie or to win? Anything greater than 105 miles per hour will win you the race. A solid line on this graph shows the tie and anything above the line indicates that you would be the winner at all the given speeds. In racing, the difference between winning and being way in the back of the pack is such a small, fine line. You've got to use 100% of the car at every point on the track, and the driver can't really feel that all the time. The data can be used to assist the driver in analyzing where the driver can go faster and also assist the crew chief in adjusting the car so the car can go faster in each of the turns of the track. And that's what the data is able to do. 